Thanks to her one-way smokes, Bangalore has seen an incredible increase in pick rate over the last few weeks. She now sees play in public matches, ranked, and even has made an emergence in competitive games. Stay tuned to learn how to play this surprisingly deep legend in Apex Legends Season 12. Welcome to yet another Guide Wednesday where I use my over 6,000 hours to teach you how to play Apex Legends. Up until recently, Bangalore has been a bit of a niche pick with a high skill ceiling but not really seeing much success in competitive games after the first month of the Pro League. In fact, ShivFBS, Pro and Streamer, who only played Bangalore for the first few years of the game, recently switched from Bangalore to play more meta picks in professional matches. Digital threats make her abilities a double-edged sword, as her enemies might benefit more from her abilities than her own teammates. However, the open maps of Stormpoint and the uptick in the one-way smokes may have thrust her right back into the spotlight. Her kit may seem simple at first, but is usually the simplest legends that have the highest skill gaps, so let's take a look. Let's start off with Bangalore's passive, Double Time. This passive allows you to move faster when taking enemy fire. It activates when you are sprinting and you get shot or barely get hit by bullets, or if you get close to a grenade or some other legend abilities, giving you a 30% increase in movement speed for 2 seconds. If you play Bangalore a lot, I suggest turning on your auto sprint, as the double time only pops when you are sprinting, and it's very awkward to manually sprint whenever you want to pop it. You want to try to keep your passive ready whenever you head into a fight. If you and an enemy are about to shoot each other, take a quick moment to try and sprint around in your spot to force them to activate your double time. This will give you a huge advantage when you are trying to strafe each other. If you are on mouse and keyboard, you can even juke shots by tap strafing in place. Just keep in mind to keep your sprint active so it triggers your passive. Remember that her ability does take some time to recharge, so don't rely on it more than once in one duel. Don't let the passive go to waste and try to keep moving when you are fighting an enemy. It's difficult to hit an opponent zooming around in front of you and if you are confident they will struggle even more. Left and right strafes will do the trick, but a crouch here and there will help a lot, especially because of Bangalore's squarish hitbox. Her tactical, the smoke launcher, fires a high velocity canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. It has two charges, which allows it to be used twice in a row. It takes 33 seconds to get a new charge. The launcher has an incredible range, it can smoke off targets over 200 meters away. After landing, the canister explodes into three smoke screens that expand perpendicular to you and take 23 seconds to disappear. This means that you can change the direction the smokes would be, depending on where you are looking when you launch the smoke. The explosion takes about a second to go off and will deal 10 damage to anyone unfortunate enough to be close enough. Keep in mind though, the explosion does not go off if you are within 10 meters. If you start lining up her tactical but change your mind, you can cancel it by punching. Bangalore can also use the smoke launcher when she's healing, using a zipline, jump pad, or even shooting. This is called a one-handed activity, and another example of that is you hitting the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. If you shoot your smoke launcher straight up into the air, it takes about 7 seconds to hit the ground and it will land about 7 meters in front of you. This can be used if you for some reason would like to stall the timing of your smoke, for example if you want to place it preemptively or to cut off your escape, and at the same time you want it to last longer. Once a smoke has been placed, you cannot see through it unless the target has been highlighted by abilities such as the Bloodhounds Tactical, their ultimate, or a viewed through a digital threat site. Targets can also be seen for a smoke if affected by a Horizon Black Hole, Crypto Drone, Fierce Mortar Strike, Maggie's Passive or Caustic Gas, Sears Tactical, Sears Ultimate or Watson's Fences. That being said, there are plenty of bugs and interactions which still allow people to be visible through the smoke. If you place a smoke near the edge of the ring, the outline of enemies will be visible if they have the ring behind them. If Bangalore smokes her own feet and doesn't really move, she can also see out of the smoke, but nobody can see in. If there are certain items behind the enemy hiding in the smoke, such as a death box, Gibraltar bubble, jump pad or care package, you may be able to see their outline in front of those items. In some cases, you can see through the smoke when standing inside of it by looking at the edges of your screen. Thanks to how dynamic the smoke launcher is, it almost has unlimited use cases. It can be used as a makeshift wall to limit the line of sight of a team holding you down in order to advance, or for cutting off an enemy team's line of sight in order to force a 1v1 against a now solo player. And it can also be used as a defensive wall if you are taking fire. It can also be used when grabbing high value items or looting when enemies are nearby. Keep in mind there is a chance your enemies may still be able to see you because of aforementioned points, such as a digital threat or the ring. Being inside of a smoke can be disorienting and you can use this to your advantage to combine it with grenades. Throw one or two grenades into the smoke for some surefire damage and if you are lucky you might even get a knock. Another disorienting ability is her ultimate, the rolling thunder. Using this ability gives you a flare that when thrown, deploys several rows of missiles in a 6x6 square that explodes 6 seconds after they have landed. Since they land in rows, it creates a wave of explosions moving forward towards where you are facing. The missiles land at a maximum of 70 meters ahead from the flare and it takes roughly 10 seconds from the flare hitting the ground to the explosions to start. Enemies that get hit by a missile take 40 damage per missile and get stunned, making their vision blurry, slowing their movement and ability to look around. 
effectively taking them out of the fight for about 8 seconds. Missiles will hurt and slow the Bangalore who deploys them, but teammates hit by the ultimate will only get the slow effect. Due to the exploding wave pattern of her ultimate, a Bangalore's team can use this to their advantage and deploy the ultimate towards an enemy team and then run in behind the explosives as they go off. As the smokes from the explosion will obstruct the view and explosions themselves might force the enemy team into cover. The first canister takes about 5 seconds to explode after landing, then it takes about half a second for the next row to explode and then another half a second and so on and so on, allowing you to easily move on behind it. As with the smoke launcher, the ultimate also has many uses. The rolling thunder can also be used defensively, either to reset or fend off a team trying to push into you after they get an advantage, or simply shutting off your path of attack if you are trying to escape. You can also use the rolling thunder if you get a pick, just to stop the enemy team from sticking a revive. It has a fairly long cooldown of 3 minutes, so you should use this sparingly. When it comes to team fighting, Bangalore can play in many positions. She takes a fragger role and wants to play around the middle of her team, allowing her to provide consistent damage, but also move forward with the flanker and even win 1v1s if necessary. Positioning yourself centrally within the team allows you to either smoke off a teammate who needs it, or force a push with a well-placed aggressive smoke. Bangalore can also easily fall back to the support legend if they want to anchor. A good Bangalore constantly smokes off the enemy team's field of views and try to force 1v1s or favorable trades, and bounces back and forth across the team fight thanks to her passive. You can also try to take deep angles and jewels as a Bangalore, relying on your passive and your smoke launcher to escape if things get too heated. As for our loadout, Bangalore benefits greatly from close to mid-range guns. Normally though, Bangalore wants to run automatic weapons over single fire ones, since her passive allows her to mag dump while still being incredibly difficult to hit. As such, I would recommend Bangalore players to run weapons such as her R301, or SMGs such as the R99 or the CAR SMG. It makes the most sense to run a weapon with digital threat when possible. As for a secondary, Bangalore almost always wants to run a shotgun, but this can vary depending on the playstyle and the comfort with that type of weapons. We have gotten really far into the video, so as a thank you for watching, I've got a tip straight from the Bangalore warlord himself, Shiv FPS. Take it away, Shiv. Okay. Or underneath? A Bangalore tip. Underneath, maybe. Um, there's a, a niche thing, but it's kind of like, a, in my opinion, it's more of like a bug slash exploit kind of thing. Where, you know, if the zone is like, you know, behind um, a team, Oh, sorry, it, yeah, if you have a smoke Anything? in front, no. and then a team behind that smoke, that's and then zone here. behind them, you know, you can kind of silhouette them to smoke. That's kind of like, right here, right here. Uh, that's kind of like right an exploit me, bug kind of thing. He's low, 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 very low. Yeah, guy. very low. Guy here. Thank you so much for watching this guide. If you guys haven't already here, so a reminder to drop that like button. And if you want to see me use these tips and more to get a 20 bomb on Bangalore, that video is visible on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.